One such company is JB Pharma, fantastic set of earnings. They've also crossed the milestone of a thousand crores in terms of revenue. Nikhil Chopra, CEO at JB Pharma, joins in to walk us through how the quarter's been and what's the outlook uh, for the company going in. Hi, Nikhil. Good morning. Congratulations. You've hit the thousand crore milestone in terms of revenue. So I'm guessing everybody at your end is extremely cheerful and excited. Uh, but let's talk about what went behind that number. Uh, give me a sense of what top line uh, outlook is looking like and what was it driven by? How was the domestic formulation business looking? And of course, revenues from your international business, because I do believe that was quite flat this quarter. First of all, good morning to all of you at NDTV Profit, and it is my pleasure to be on the show. And rightly so, uh, what was shared that uh, uh, we have for the first time in a quarter across 1,000 crore revenue and growing at uh, mid-teens around 12% uh, for, for the quarter. And this was basically more driven by the performance that we have demonstrated in India business, which we have been talking about. India, we shied away at touching 600 crores for the quarter and the revenues grew at 22%. More so, what has been happening is not only in terms of revenue that we have achieved, but what is more heartening is the improvement in gross margin. Our gross margins are as high as 66%, and what guidance we have been giving for our EBITDA margins, operating EBITDA margins between 26 to 28%, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to inform that our EBITDA, operating EBITDA margins for the quarter were 29%. That is where we stand. We saw some softness in our uh, rest of the market business. Uh, that is more so in the world of CDMO and US. Emerging market, that is rest of the world, uh, grew at mid-teens. And the way we see overall in coming a couple of quarters uh, with robust order book, our emerging market as well as our CDMO should also start showing around uh, 12 to 14% growth in the coming time. That is where we stand. And what, what has been happening in the... Yeah. So, yes, sorry. yes, what please. I wanted, to, I wanted you what to has... dwell on the CDMO piece because seasonally it's the second half of the year that is not yeah. as good as the first half. But you're saying that this time around, uh, third and fourth quarter will be much stronger, right? So it, this business has a flow in terms of the way it happens. Uh, the trajectory continues to be 100 crore plus every quarter. And the way, the way overall climate change and the dynamics are behaving, we see more and more uh, flu season and winter season starting September onwards. And the way order book has been, uh, is, is today in place, September onwards, we see a better trajectory uh, for this business. Uh, and there are a good number of new development projects which are on. Today, more of our CDMO business is happening in the world of cough and cold for our Los Angeles, which is 80% of our CDMO business. So there are there are half a dozen new projects which are on. So those new projects will come in. The lozenges for sleep disorders, for immunity and wellness, uh, for motion sickness, for uh, for antifungal lozenges. All those things uh, will be will be in place. So that all things will start reflecting probably quarter two and quarter three onwards. That is where we stand from the CDMO business. But what I wanted to also talk about is a strong performance that we have demonstrated in India business, uh, where our oral chronic part of the business has. Has been has been the highlight in terms of the way uh, that has contributed and that is contributing to overall improvement in gross margins, and uh, we continue to be uh, the fastest growing company in the cardiology space, particularly in hypertension, heart failure, and lipid products in India business. Indeed, uh, so you're right. Your margins have also been a standout in this quarter, and I know the company is undertaking cost optimization efforts, which is uh, of course bearing its fruit as we see it. Uh, for the rest of the financial year, where do you see your operating margins at? Uh, should they see further improvement? Uh, is that an internal expectation? We'll be more than happy if we are able to maintain this gross margins of 66 uh, percent and operating margins, the guidance that we've been giving. Also, a couple of points that I would like to make, uh, talk about in, in our uh, rest of the world market particularly about Russia. Russia has done fairly well. Our, our, uh, our uh, Absolute EBITDA value has been has been growing at, at a pace of around 30% plus uh, for the quarter, and that is what we will see uh, for the coming three quarters. And also, the South Africa business, uh, where in last five quarters we had taken a hit of around 20 million dollar. Quarter two onwards, we'll start seeing the growth in our South Africa business, which will also contribute to overall profitability and EBITDA. That should happen, Mr. Chopra. 
uh, I'm glad you bring up Russia and South Africa because those are your key uh, export markets as well. What is the sort of percentage growth uh, you're expecting these markets to grow by for the rest of the financial year? So, India, first of all, India should grow at around mid-teens. That is what we sh that is what uh, we'll be able to demonstrate for the next three quarters. Right. Uh, within our uh, within our uh, rest of the world market, South Africa. Should South Africa, Russia should grow at around nine to ten percent. That is where we are. Emerging market, uh, that is rest of the world, where we are in, we are present in uh, four clusters: Sub-Saharan Africa, Latin America, South Asia, and Middle East, which business is around twelve to fourteen million dollar every quarter. Should also grow, help, grow at around twelve to fourteen percent. And CDMO, CDMO space, uh, should see uh, around uh, high teens growth in quarter three and quarter four. That is what that is what is the guidance. Uh, for the coming time, yeah. Right. So you've also added ophthalmic uh, brands uh, yeah. to your portfolio. You're five months into integration. What are the key learnings? What is it that uh, you see in terms of uh, outlook for the ophthalm ophthalmic uh, vertical? So this business last three, four years, if you look at which was uh, the with the products which were marketed by Novartis, the revenues that we got in, and this is an in-license income distribution arrangement with the revenues which we got in were 165 crores and uh, the trajectory that we see for the current for the current year we should be close to around 190 195 crores for the year and this business by the way was not growing for last 3 4 years uh, basically 50% of this business comes from the products which are in the world of glaucoma which are chronic in nature where we are seeing more and more adoptions uh, 65 people from novartis joined us and up to the field force is 105 which will be eventually 120 people working, and uh, we are very, uh, we are very, we are looking at this business uh, to grow at mid-teens because ophthalmology market is dynamic in nature in terms of flu season, in terms of uh, the eye infections are there, and also in next two three months you should see us getting into the world of dry eyes, in the world of biologicals. All those portfolios will come in, and we are very excited with this portfolio. And also to share the ten brands that we are in license and distributing out of this five brands are leaders in their category so so we'll continue to continue to attain the leadership and grow more and 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 grab more market share the number of ophthalmologists which were covered by 65 reps which came in were close to 7000 today we cover close to 12000 ophthalmologists so a lot of coverage has improved distribution has improved portfolio will be added and we will look at how do you propel up the existing portfolio but today we are leaders in in in, in five, five of the brands that right. is happening in the world of optimism. Oh, it looks yeah. very exciting. I would love to talk to you more and of course understand from you on your acquisition plans as well because that's something that the markets always get excited about. But I believe you've got a meeting so we'll let you go. We'll try and connect back uh, and get a better sense of what's happening at the company. But good luck and congratulations uh, on a fantastic quarter for JB Pharma.